Hello and welcome back to my channel. So if you notice, I finally made the swap to my brand new hand. This is about like day three of wearing this as, as an all day thing. Uh, so far, super pleased with it. Uh, something that I just got set up today is I got all the splay linkage set up and tuned to where it's just about it's just about in the right spot for end positions open to close. And the way you know that is because you look at the spacing in between, in between the fingers, everything's super equal, and then you close it, and your closed spacing is super equal. It has taken a bunch of back and forth, go cut some parts, fit them, then see what it looks like, go back to the software, add 10 thousandths, 5 thousandths, whatever, to get it to where everything just closes just perfectly. With a couple days worth of use on this, I've come up with a couple, I guess, side quests that I think I'm gonna be doing on this hand. Uh, first one is, I think I'm actually gonna take the time to go and adjust the extension springs to where instead of the hand closing all the fingers at the same time, I think I'm gonna go back to having them to where they close sequentially, you know, pinky ring, middle index. And then same thing for, for opening back up. Uh, you know, I did that on like the 156, seven hand, somewhere around there. And I really liked the anthropomorphic motion that I was able to get out of that. And it's something I've missed on the last hand, on the first version of this series. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the time and set that up. It is a little bit of a commitment because, you know, you, the more friction, the more drag, the less it's going to open up sequentially like what you're looking for. So it is going to take a little bit of maintenance and it's going to take you know quite a bit of dinking because you have to actually tune each spring. So, you know, I have four different wire diameters for these springs and, you know, I mean, it'll probably take half a day to get everything set up, but it'll look cool when it's done. The other thing I think I'm going to bring back on this version is a grip pattern selector. Not to the level that the 158, 159 had on it with, you know, the whole mechanical selection. But what I, where I think I'm going to go with it is that you close your hand and then the ring pinky would stay locked. And then, you know, do it again and then the ring pinky would open up. What that'll do is it'll give me a precision tripod grip. Or if I catch the middle finger with the side of my thumb, it'll give me a uh, index thumb grip. And then, you know, of course, the, you know, the pinky hold for the glass, you know, is still going to be, you know, something that you just position. But you won't need that for a grip. Now, I've thought of a couple different ways of doing this, having it as, you know, remember, as low a part count as I can. And, you know, reliability and, and all of that. So I've gone between having it work in the over travel of the open and close. But what I think I'm gonna do is go back to uh, having it as a tandem control in the splay, being from zero positive would splay the fingers and from zero negative would cycle between the ring pinky being locked and the ring pinky being unlocked. And I think I can get that done in, I don't know, probably four or five more parts. You know, I think it's going to be something that I know that I'm going to enjoy. And I think that anybody that is putting this together as a kit, I think that they would also be able to find pretty good function uh, with that as as an included feature. It'll be awesome when I get it like all the way put together and I can put the circle clips and the pins so I won't, you know, be chasing pins like what I have been for the last couple of days. That's, but you know, if I start putting circle clips on it, then it becomes a real pain to take it apart. You know, it's, it's part of that, you know, jumping the gun on wearing something that isn't completely all together. Let me know what you think about adding back those uh, grip patterns and even just the progress that I've made. You know, this week's going to kind of be a burner week. I got chemo tomorrow. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching.